Hey guys, how's it going? So welcome back to another Tuesday and to Halloween week. So you guys are probably wondering, why does this video look so crappy? Um, well, I will just say uh, this is the one thing that Mac computers have over PCs is the fact that they do not have really crappy editing software that crashes all of your footage. So that's pretty much what happened. Um, so I am back again. And I'm wearing my wig. I had like makeup done here and everything, but decided to change that. And I have horns. Yeah, very last minute horns, but um, I'm proud of them because I haven't made any sort of prop in years. So I'm really happy with them. But anyways, I'm going to move on to things I wanted to mention, and then I'll address the rest of the geeks because it's mainly just kamikaze stuff. So if you haven't seen the trailer for it already, um, DC is actually coming up with a new um, animated movie. They're obviously working with the style and the costume designs for uh, the new 52. It looks really cool. The animation looks really stunning, at least at its, you know, really high points. There's a couple of points when the animation is just very staticky and very kind of choppy. But overall, it looks really cool, so I'm really excited. I love all the DC animated movies. They're really good. Another thing I wanted to talk about is this idea of violent video games. Um, the reason why I'm bringing this up is surprisingly because it deals with Pokemon. Um, since Pokemon um, X and Y came out, um, PETA has spoken up again and there was an article put out um, based around this vlog that was put out by a mother and how she completely just like destroyed her daughter's 3DS and flush like all of her games like Pokemon games down the toilet because she felt it was so abusive and horrible and it was teaching kids to abuse animals and things like that which I like most people like most kids um, probably do not believe that at all um, I do not abuse animals I love animals I'm actually very hypersensitive to how my how people treat their animals of course um, but it's an interesting question because it's back to this whole idea of video games making people violent. Which is very interesting because I think that even decades, you know, before now, um, I feel like people were a lot more violent. And especially, and if you go back to centuries ago, you know, clearly people were violent, especially with how they dealt with pun federal punishment, you know torture or things like that and just aggressive just really aggressive things so it kind of feels like even though video games and movies are that much more violent and I do agree that if there is someone who is you know mentally ill and unstable seeing this stuff it could really desensitize them to that I completely agree with that um but I feel like as a society on a whole it's kind of done the reverse you know effect not so much that violent video games has made us less violent, but I don't feel that it really has so much in it as an effect. And it could be that, you know, these violent video games and violent movies are making people less violent because, and whether it be because, you know, we see what exactly can happen and we, you know, would cringe to see that actually happening to a human, to another human being or a creature. I don't know if like that's the case, but I kind of want to know what you guys think about that. And obviously, if you think games are violent or they're not violent, they make people violent, violent, you know, let me know what you guys think um, and explain like why. I'll put a link below to um, the article that was written because she also associated Pokemon with marijuana. And... Uh, well, granted, ma marijuana, you know, cannabis does have some medical purposes to it, so is that really a bad thing? Uh, addressing the rest of the geeks, um, Steph, Nikki, your costumes look so amazing. They're fantastic. And Mario, I did watch Evil Dead. I did watch um, the remake of Evil Dead. I actually never really watched a lot of horror movies. Um, the only classic like horror movies that I guess I guess are classic that I've seen are uh, the original Nightmare on Elm Street movies. Um, but I did watch the remake of Evil Dead. And although it's pretty freaking weird, um, I actually did sort of enjoy the premise of it. I hope I will be able to see you guys at Kamikaze. Uh, I am so excited and tired and exhausted and happy 
and then just too many emotions about, you know, Kamikaze this weekend. So I will hope to see you guys there and make sure you guys and people out there, make sure if you guys are there, make sure if you see us, say something and we will take your picture and put it on Facebook and blackmail you guys, which doesn't sound good, but it'll be fun. Trust me, it'll be fun. But anyways, that's been me and I will see you guys next Tuesday with hopefully a much better video. Horns. Horns. <laughs>